we'll go to texture and we'll go to position we'll just hold down on the green we'll rotate up a little bit hey everybody this is Royce here with Gates 3 designs and I'm back with another episode today I have this bridge that I created in Revit 2019 um, so this bridge is gonna be it's gonna walk through the forest um, it's kind of it's low to the ground but it's, it's a it's a little above the grade but um this just travels throughout the forest and what we're going to do is using um bob works uh, we're going to add some trees in here and then uh, we're going to add some texture to walk walking path here um throughout the forest so uh, let's go ahead and get started and add some theater render materials All right, so first, since I have this this bridge and it's just a piece of it here, and we have this grade that we're gonna work with, we're gonna surround this whole area with these trees. So, um, if you've never used this before, you can just go to go to lobwork.com and um, you can download a free package and you'll get this here. And um, if you like it, you go ahead and download the other things uh, that they have they have several packages um, I'm gonna be getting some more here so but let's go ahead and add these trees so you just click on that there and just start applying trees and just copy and paste Whoop. let's get something set up here all right, so I got some trees lined up here. Went ahead and grouped them all. Let's go ahead and set the scene here. Um, actually, I want the scene kind of like this. Let's go ahead and get a render and see what we got so far. Uh, let's use Presto. Okay, so we got our trees in here, and everything else is pretty much like a blank canvas. It almost looks like snow. Just fine. Go ahead and raise these trees. I really like this view. This should be a nice view. I always make animation scenes because I want to. I don't want to lose the view that I that I liked here copy paste in place and let's just apply them throughout this space here let's not leave too many gaps All right, let's see what this gives us. Nice, okay. I can go ahead and start applying some green grass here. Maybe some shrubs. Let's give this a texture. Let's go down to ground. Just go to ground and we'll go to, there should be a grass in here. Here we go. Set that grass there. And let me see if I can find some shrubs. 3D warehouse. Alright, I laid out some shrubs and actually some stones I think I'd like, but we'll just see how it looks in the render. Let's double click into this group here and we're gonna slide this these other shrubs over. Bring some over here. Okay, let's just see what we got in a render, and that'll help me determine what I need to do. I'm 
some of these bald spots I can add some, but some actually look nice being bald. A little there, up here in this corner. Um, maybe a little here in this spot. Kind of like what's going on here. Maybe some along here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead now and apply texture to the bridge. So I already have the wood I want to use. Um, it's actually, I think the third, nope, it might be the second. Yep. So it's these long board pieces here. Uh, let's go ahead and take it off sheet it. Um, yeah, simple is fine. Okay, so you see how the the texture face is kind of out of whack. We're gonna go ahead and fix that. Anyway, we'll just select the the surface there, right click. Um, we'll go to texture and we'll go to position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna straighten out this side, but I'm probably gonna have to cut off this position to align it a different way. But uh, we'll just hold down on the green We'll rotate up a little bit, try to get it straight. And we'll just eyeball it. Texture, position. And we're going to bring this one back a little bit. Now, if you notice, the scale kind of got smaller. So if you hover over these, they'll tell you what they do. So like this one, it's moving the texture. I think it's the yellow that's the scale, but um, nope, this one is scale. So we'll drag it back here. Make it a little bigger. All right. All right, yeah, do something like that. All right, let's go ahead and run a render and see what we got. Nice. That's really nice. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks.